Essays on Untouchables and Untouchability Social by Baba Sahib Chapter 3, Part 6 In the case alluded to, the party in question having been guilty of a series of profligate and abandoned conduct, having been shamefully addicted to spirituous liquors, having been in the habit of associating and eating with persons of the lowest description and the most infamous character, having wantonly attacked and wounded several people at different times, having openly cohabited with a woman of the Mohammedan persuasion, and having set fire to the dwelling house of his adoptive mother, whom he had more than once attempted to destroy by other means. The pundits declared that, of all the offences proved to have been committed by Shannoth, one only, namely that of cohabiting with a Mohammedan woman, was of such a nature and as to subject him to the penalty of his expulsion from his tribe irrevocably. And of this opinion was the court. The power to degrade, in its first instance, with the caste themselves assembled for the purpose, from whose sentence, if not acquiesced in, there lay an appeal to the king's courts. In the case that has been cited, the question arose incidentally upon a claim of inheritance, and that case shows that the power amounts to a species of censorship applicable to the morals of the people in instances to which the law, strictly speaking, would not perhaps otherwise extend. The sentences can be inflicted only for offences committed by the delinquent in his existing state and where the offence is of an inferior nature. To justify it, it must have been repeated. What distinguishes degradation from other causes of exclusion is that it extends its effects to the son, who is involved in his father's forfeiture, if born subsequent to the act occasioning it, born before he is entitled to inherit, and takes as though his father were dead. Whereas, in every other instance of exclusion, the son, if not actually in the same predicament with his father, succeeds maintaining him the same right extending as far as the great-grandson and with regard to the father or delinquent himself, where the exclusion from inheriting is not for natural defects, the cause must have arisen previous to the division or descent of the property, if not, if it did not occur till after. The succession is not divested by it. Hence, adultery in the wife during coverture wars her right of inheritance, divesting it also after it is vested, the Hindu widow resembling. In this respect, the condition of ours in most instances of copyhold dower and holding it like her, dumb caste of Urit only, according to an opinion of great respectability, that for loss of caste, expiated by penance and redeemed, unredeemed by atonement, it is forfeited. In general, the law of disqualification applies alike to both cases and both sexes. The end.